Uh, hi guys, welcome back. Um, so what I've done is I've actually um, I created a um, I uh, as I told you, or what I've done, as I told you, you know, uh, anything, you know, uh, that was any previous tutorial. I had to um create a um extract a new a new uh a new partition for my go oh, my golden gate software. Uh, I've I've done that. So if I go into uh this is this is a this is the um the new folder for my Golden Gate software and this is a new name so um so what I've already done is if you look at what I um I just I just cd'd into that into this directory the the G the H2 as you can see let me see put this aside there you go so I cd into this directory and I and I went into GGSEI and then after I I access I um I launched GGSEI I I got the GGSEI I uh, ran the create subdirs, uh, the subdirect to create the subdirectories, and because this is a new uh, installation, um, basically I basically was able to you know just create you know these new uh, these new subdirectories. So what? Just going back to um, the tutorial. So what I'll do now is um, let me make sure. So I've already installed. I've already installed a service. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to uh, actually just exit this window. And then give myself some actually you know what? There you go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this command marker on this for setup. Let me make sure I have this right. Okay. So if you go into your file system, you, sh you there are a number of SQL scripts that you have to run. The first one is marker underscore setup, the second one is uh DDL underscore setup, the left the uh, next you have Roll on this course setup, and then next you have uh, last you have a uh, DDL underscore enable. So, um, and basically they have to be run in this order, uh, just so you know. Um, so first thing I do is mark on this core, mark on this core setup. Let me make sure what did I do? That is not supposed to happen. Um, oh, this is what I meant to do. What am I? What am I? What am I thinking? Okay, let me just. I need to go back into SQL Plus. Okay, and again, so as you can see, basically, I'm 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 making the trips inside of SQL Plus. So I'm gonna run at. Uh, make sure that I take this app, copy this, paste it, marker, underscore setup. Uh, Oracle Golden Gate schema name, let's say GG uh, admin. Okay. And so now you just have to be patient. You know, it's going to take some time for the user to be created. Okay, there you go. That was fast. Um, so next you need to run the DDL underscore setup. And again, I think I think the third one might might have been the one that took. So the, so the first time that I um that I that I ran the trip that I ran the trip um basically. You know, for some reason it wasn't working, and then what I had to do, I had to um, I had to re I had to extract another um, go to get software, and then go to the you know go to these um, you know the, all these steps again. And also that's the reason why I I I um I I emphasize you know having a set a uh, a a you know a a a directory that's that's you know that's only for the um you know a particular go to get software. Basically, what you, what you're doing is when you do that. You, you're actually just pointing to you're pointing to you know just to, just to that directory and just to those uh just to those uh files. So, but if you have a if you have you know if you have uh, go and get um you know the, the, those files and folders inside of you know that directory where you have multiple where you have where you have other files 
risky again. So my experience, you know, that that did not work out too well. So just be, just be, just consider, you know, doing, you know, having a separate, uh, go to get software directory. So, uh, what I'm doing next is I'm going to run the DDI underscore setup. So, and then go to get schema name, uh, GG admin. Show complete. There you go. And okay, okay. As you can see, there's a lot going on. And there you go, scoop to complete. Next I'm gonna run the roll underscore setup. Row underscore setup and then schema name gg admin. So now I am going to uh, the, the, the so this is really important, right? So here you're going to create a a ggs user underscore gg, ggs underscore ggs user underscore row. This is a privilege that you're going to you're going to have, have to assign to uh to your the gg admin user. So and again, again. So this is this is the outcome for the for the uh, script that I just the, the one that's called setup script. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to run grant ggs underscore ggs user underscore row to uh, gg admin. Okay. And then lastly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the DDL underscore uh, enable script. So what I'll do next? DDL underscore enable. Make sure you guys been enable. Okay. And then so what I will do next is I'm going to I'm gonna go to just creating this a you know a a user a um a user that can be a, a it's it's more of a yeah create create a, a test user on my uh, on my on my primary system uh, and then, and then basically and then create a uh, a you know a, user, a, a receiver a, a test receiver uh, a test user on the on my on my uh, on my secondary system that's going to be basically just that's going that's going to be where I'll be pointing to in terms of data you know perform um, you know just for, uh, performing uh, the data verification so what I'll do next is um, I'm going to create create a user sender identified by sender default table space is equal to example uh, temporary. Space is TMT, and I've just created my my um my my my, my uh the user is going to be sending the data to the to the uh, my my uh, my second my secondary system. So what I do is I'm going to assign the connect results and unlimited unlimited table space privileges to this to the to the standard user. So uh, grant Connect um, and let me see. Can I connect resource unlimited to sender. So basically, uh, after you're done with this, then basically you you've already you you've set up. You you're done setting up your um you know the environment for your source database uh, basically and then for next you have to basically do the same thing uh, do this do this you know follow this uh, follow basically do 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 this uh go through these in, uh, installation steps uh over again for the target database <clears throat> and uh, so what I'll do now is 
Um, well, yeah. I'm trying to think. I need to, um, I don't, you know what? Okay, what I'll do is, okay, so, I am going to point to my target. And um, basically, I'm going to just um, set up my uh, my target database. Actually, what I what I really want to do is I really wanted to um, basically use a a um, an external target database and basically and take you to you know how to you know perform the replication with you know separate databases you know on different on different on, on you know again just not be on the same system. But what I'll do is um I'll just show you um you know and again I'm gonna take you through how to basically just set up your target database. So I've already I've also I've created a second a second uh database and this database is actually um is actually V eleven G two V eleven G two H three so uh let me point to that. There we go, and this one should also be in archive log mode. And again, so the reason why I'm saying it should be is because I I use the DDCA database configuration system to uh, to um you know install it on the database. Um, so what I'll do is um I'm gonna create this the receiver user, and let me bring this window right here. Okay. Um. Create user. Receiver. Identified by receiver. Default server space. Default server space is going to be um, example. Temporary table space is going to be TMP. And so, what I'll do after this is I need to, after you've set up, uh, you're, done, you're done setting up um, both, you know, you know, some of the configurations for both the source and target database. Uh, what you need to do is you need to make sure that the, ma the manager process is, is running. So what I'll do is um I will come to this window and then I will run GGSCI and then what I'll do next is I'm going to uh confirm um start actually before I do that. Yeah, start manager. So does not exist. Okay, so what did I do wrong? Oh yeah, so what I'll do is again, so I'm gonna create a file. I'm gonna create a uh, a, a parameter file, the MGR parameter file. So what I'll do is I'm going to run um edit params. MGR and yes, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy and paste uh, this code. And again, the script is um, is in the description section for my for the YouTube channel. Paste it. 
save it and then close it. And then also one, next one I'm going to do is I am going to run start manager. And let's see. Uh, info of oh. manager start. I wonder why it's that. Okay. This is what I, I'm. I'm basically every time that I every time I'm trying to set up my Golden Gate software, I always get this manager is not starting. Problem. Just give me one second. I wonder why it's not. Let me go to services. Okay, let me close that out. Okay. Um, I just stop. I always get this. Uh, um, just give me one second. Edit. Client send. Uh, one gr. Let's try this. Okay, uh, what I'll do is I'm going to pause uh, here and I'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching.